and welcome to Have a Like Couponer. So today I am finally here with an updated couponing stockpile tour and I'm going to take you guys through it um, in great detail. But this is just a little panorama view of this portion. There's another portion. Yes, yes, yes. I'm so, 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 so excited to share this with you guys. I get tons of questions, how I organize, how much stuff I have, do I keep all my stuff? If you guys watch me regularly, you see my haul videos. Um, and they definitely they answered that one. No, I don't keep everything. Um, let me just explain the story. I support six people regularly, myself, my parents, my grandparents who live here, and my great uncle who we see uh, or we take, help take care of daily. So we give we regularly support six people. But I also give to my other grandma a lot throughout the year. Like I'll do these huge boxes of stuff a couple times a year and just really get her stocked up. Um, she lives on her own, so she doesn't need a ton of stuff at a time, but I like really stock her up. Um, and then I give to my cousins a lot. Anytime if they ever want something, they know they can just come over here and grab, you know, shampoo, toothpaste. I actually have to beg now sometimes to get stuff because I have an abundance. If you guys watch my hauls, you see I do get a lot of stuff on a weekly basis. Only couponing at Walmart and Kroger. Those are my two stores. And this is why a lot of people are like, you should go to CVS, you should go to Dollar General. Look at all this stuff, guys. Really don't think right now I need to go anywhere else. Now, I do shop at, um, I did shop at CVS um, in November and October last year. And I'll do that. I don't need to shop at CVS weekly. Because could you imagine if I was doing CVS in addition to what I already do, I would have so many personal care products. Don't need to do that. So I only do CVS around Black Friday and get really stocked up on like shampoo. Um, a lot of different stuff CVS runs deals on. I get really, really stocked up and I live off a lot of that during the year. So like I got stocked up on toilet paper back in November when that Babu deal was going and I've not had to really buy it since. And that's kind of how I do it. I do extreme at CVS for a couple months and live off of that until I go back when I need to go back when I'm really running out of stuff. But Walmart and Kroger's my regular stores. This stock palace supports six people regularly. They come, and then I have a lot of other family members who partake in this as well. I donate a lot. Um, a couple months ago, I did a big donation to the Salvation Army in the local soup kitchen. I'm getting another donation together for the pregnancy um, center here. So I donate a lot too. Nothing is going to go to waste. If something runs out, we'll either um, donate it. We actually, usually nothing really runs out. But if it came to a case where something was running out, we'd either make sure we use that first before any of this other stuff, or we could donate it to somebody who could use it. So that's kind of that. All right, I'm going to get into the stockpile tour and share it with y'all. All right, so when you walk in the stockpile, these carts, I love these carts. I believe my mom got them at Walmart. We used to use them for, I'm um, in the kitchen, but it actually worked out in like a pantry but it actually worked out. We got new shelving for that. And now I use it for the couponing stuff. And I love it for these little things like um, pain medications. This is all medicine. So I have some Campo Phenique. Remember we were getting that a lot. Um, Thermacare cream. And this isn't a basement. So if you hear weird background noises, it's because it's in the basement. But this is the perfect place for it. Next care bandages. We got some aspirin here. Um, some pain medications. A lot of ibuprofen when Kroger did that 25 cent deal. I think it was 25 cents for two. That was a really good deal. Down here is like eye care products. Um, we got some vitamins here, which is awesome. We have stomach ailments. So we're definitely not gonna need that much of that in our life. Um, lactate here, some probiotics. And down here is cold medicines, cough drops, and more overflow of Docolax. That was a huge money maker. All right, here is all feminine care products. So. And this is something I donated a ton of. It's just like they give these out for free constantly. So I got Stay Free here. Um, I got some other feminine care items here. The poise down there, you guys know they give us poise constantly for money makers. I'm um, in these baskets. That's just from the Dollar Tree. It's a little thing of liners. And then down there is um, tampons. Okay. Here we got the razor stock, the so laser money maker all the time. There's another thing I donated a lot of um, a couple months ago. It's just they're always on sale and they're always a money maker, so I get them. Down there is more women's razors, and then down here is a couple more women's razors, and there's a lot of guys' ones. Those big flex hybrids, all time favorite razor. I am loyal to that razor now, so hopefully that goes on sale. I love that razor, it works so well. Okay. There are some other guys' razors. And then up here, we have shaving cream. Tons of shaving cream. Remember when Kroger did that deal? 
in July. They were $1.99. There was a dollar I bought it and a dollar Kroger cashback. And I got like 20 of them for free, which is awesome. So we're good on that for a while. Um, here I have some Swiffer dusters. I think those were from Kmart doubles back when they did that. That and Kmart's been gone for like five years. So that just tells you how old those are. Um, down here I have Renews It. We are going to use those. I think we just had a lot of them. Um, Febreze here and some Febreze car clips. And then I have some Razor gift sets. This is another one of my uh, hybrids that I love. And then in here I have all those warmers and Renews It um, scents. I need more of those. This is another thing we repurposed. We used to use this thing to keep the printer on. And we got something else for that. So now I just use it down here. Okay, let me just finish showing you guys the um, cleaning products. This is like good stocked up on disinfecting spray. It's in great, like plenty here now. There's no hard time finding this stuff. But um, when it was limit one, we just like pick up one or two. I think it was limit two most of the time. We just grab one when it was there. We have a nice little stockpile built up on it now, which is great. We have went through some of that. All these soft soaps. This was awesome. I ran in on this deal. We were out of town at a Kroger and they had at a different Kroger. This isn't, it was out of town. So it's a different Kroger, but that's how dedicated I am. Of course, I'm going to go. These are marked down to $1.99 and they were on the mega sale for 99 cents. These are 99 cents for these enormous 32 ounce of soap. So I really stocked up. We also got some Equate soap here and these safeguards. You guys remember these were like free or 50 cents or something really cheap back in November. So that's great. We also have this disinfecting cleaner thing. We had sanitizer down here. We got these huge ones at Walmart for 50 cents. That was great. We got some um, Clorox disinfecting wipes. Again, these are in great. Like they have plenty of them now, but we just pick up one or two when we go. Just to have them build up because we actually went through our last stockpile of them. Um, so that's great. Some gloves back there. Um, Mr. Clean Erasers. And then we also have a bunch of air care. I want to really stock up. Um, Kroger's going to have Febreze for 99 cents next week. So I'd like to stock up on that. Um, we still have enough. Okay, down here we have dish products. So all the dish pods and the dish booster. We got a huge stock of dish soap. It goes clear back. I'm happy with that. And then some car cleaner. And down here, sorry, the lighting's not the best in this room, but I'm trying. We got several toilet bowl cleaners. We got some um, Fabuloso multi-purpose cleaner. Lots of cleaners. I'm actually really good on my cleaning stock, Windex, Crud Cutter. I'm really happy with that. That's great. So now I'm going to show you guys. Let's get back up. I'm going to show you all the personal care products. This is definitely a big part of the stock, but I love it. So up here we got, this is kind of like my stylers, the LA Looks Gel. I use that. And then I do like this Garnier, um, like the putty stuff. Um, so I have that. It, it takes me, oh my gosh, it'll probably take me six months to use one of those bottles. I don't need to have a bunch. Um, here's some more dry shampoo, more stylers. And up here we got more stylers. And then this is all... Um, I think hairspray. No, it's mousse. This is all mousse. Lots of mousse. Uh, my mom and grandma both use, not mousse so much, they use a lot of hairspray. So that's something I try to keep stocked up. And I have a pretty good amount. I remember they got to be, that was free on a Kroger cashback deal. Some of this might honestly be, I don't know. We Back when Kmart was here, you guys are going to hear me say that a lot because that place was like a couponer's best friend. They had... I could get L'Oreal, Stylers, Pantene all the time for free. And I would like, I used to get like 20 inserts a week back then. So I would stock up and yeah, Kmart was epic. I miss that place. But some of this might even be from there. I don't know. Probably not because we use it pretty quick. But I thought I'd share that memory. Some Garnier masks. And then up here we got deodorant. Ladies deodorant here. I think this is just whatever gender deodorant. I don't even know. Dove, some spray deodorant, and we also have baby wipes. And I'm going to stock up um, this week at Kroger again on the Pampers because we have a 50 cent off two coupon coming in the PNG on Sunday. I just can't wait for this Sunday's insert, so that's going to be awesome. Okay, over here we have Guy's deodorants, which is really sweet. I got a pretty good, this is just from the this last week at Kroger. Um, yeah, that's great. Here's some baby products like Aquifer, Johnson's, and some Gold Bond here. I didn't know what else to do with. And I'm going to show you guys this real quick. Um, this little shoe organizer is really nice. It has 
tons of compartments. I know it's kind of hard to see back here. This also doubles as a storage area. I keep, um, we keep some storage stuff. And I actually also keep some Christmas gifts in here that I pick up along the year, which is great. Um, I have tons of oral care, so like floss. We got floss, tons of floss, flossers. Uh, tons and tons and tons of toothbrushes. Little um, masks people can put on their face. Blistex, Carmex, um, pens, lots of ink pens, school supplies, all this kind of stuff. Fits really nice. I'd like to find a better place to put this, but this is what works for now. Um, here I got Q-tips. So remember that organic Q-tip deal on Shopkick? That was fun. We got Noxema here. Sorry, it's a little dusty um, back here. Uh, we got Oxy, Cetaphil, Neutrogena... Avino sunscreen, lots of good stuff. Now here we got. I'm really happy about that Noxemix. This is something I didn't have a lot of, and then Shopcake ran that deal back when Shopcake was still really good. So I have a lot of that. And down here is some Say Knives, Cleaning Clear, Avino. This is all lotions. I have a few lotions for sure. Oh, there's more of this Nivea Mint. I don't know why this needs to go down here. So yeah, tons and tons and tons of lotion. Um, down here, I got bar soaps galore. And then I also have all this body wash for women. That's a lot of body wash. And down here, I have all the dudes body wash. So really nice. It goes back pretty deep. All right. And then I showed you guys the top. This is legit all hair products, if you can believe that. I know it's, it's a little obsessive. Like I said, when I go to CVS, I really load up on this stuff. And, and now I'm really stocked up on all my hair product. So we're going to have to donate or do something with some of this. But I got tons of suave. You guys know Kroger. You know Kroger's mega sale this last time. It's been a good sale already. I have loaded up on suave. Um, so I got a lot of suave. Axe here. This is my brand of choice. Dove. And we also have these three-in-ones, which they really should be down there. But whatever. <sighs> Organization's hard in stockpiles. I'm sure you guys can agree. I got this Bath & Body Works one recently for free. I had a coupon just to get it for free. So, like, why not? Oh, this is a two-in-one hair and body wash. This is dandruff shampoo. Um, some generic or just regular suave. And here's a two-in-one. Yeah, two-in-one. Um, my grandma loves this. And this is like legit all for her. Like I said, she's on her own. So that'll last a long time. So I should donate some. Some suave kids right here. Down here, I got even more shampoo. This is my other grandma's area of shampoo. And down here, my mom will use some of this. And... Um, whoever else wants it. It's just something I gotta clear out some. But I hate to, you know. Cause some of these, like the Aussie, I've not got a deal on that forever. We don't get L'Oreal coupons anymore. So you always fear that you're not gonna be able to get as many deals on it, but I know it's probably crazy. I think these are just some of these are sets and some of them no. These are sets, these are sets, and then these are just random ones that don't have a I um, you know, like it's a shampoo without a conditioner. So it's kinda like the reject section of the hair stockpile. <laughs> But yes, that is the HBA and some of the cleaning. We're going to go over to the laundry room now and look at that area of the stockpile. It's really awesome. All right, so now we're in the laundry room. I used to have another shelf in here, if you remember from my last tour. But we made the cleaning stuff in there. It's just easier because the laundry room just was kind of, we needed more space. So we moved the cleaning stuff in there and it's working out a lot better. So let me first start off with the paper goods. Um, we had a lot more than this. And like I said, it's just something that goes kind of quick. So I need to really start loading back up on the paper, um, toilet paper. Then here I got some paper towels. Um, somebody asked why I'm always buying generic paper products. Um, I, the, I mean, I have my fair share of name brands. I just get whatever works in the deal. So at Walmart, I had overage. And so I had like $4 overage. So I got the closest one to $4 that I could. And it was this one at three eighty two. So... That was nice. Um, I got Purex here, more detergent, more and more and more detergent. Lots and lots of detergent there. Um, down there, I got laundry pods. Those go back pretty deep. Snuggle Mania. And I love stocking up on this because truly, I tend to run out of this. And it's really a big deal. Like, I ran out of it and then the deal finally came at Kroger, which was great. I had like one left and that deal came, but... Really stocked up on liquid snuggle and the sheets as well. And then down here are all the scent boosters. Have a pretty good amount of scent beads and boosters. I'm happy with that. Those snuggles from Kroger. And then some bleach down there. And then up here, like I showed you, I have um, Febreze Fabric Refresher. Some snuggle super fresh. The downy wrinkle release, like some shout and spray and wash. 
and then all these little Kleenexes, which this has seen better days. We need more, nah, stuff's falling. Um, we need more tissues in the stock for sure. All right, y'all. So this is my stockpile tour as of January, 2021. I hope this gave you guys some inspiration or if nothing else, at least let you guys get to see how I organize my stuff and what stuff I have stocked up. Um, definitely could use more paper products. That's my main focus. Everything else is pretty well stocked. So I'm really happy about that. So yeah, that's all I got for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed and thank you so, so much for watching.